I love LEDs. LED means light emitting diode. There are various type of LEDs. Those are single color, dual color and finally three color. Those are called RGB LED. If you can control RGB LED in right way, then it looks very nice to see them. But it is very painful to control them. I want to decorate my living room with this RGB LED strip, which will give me color like my mind. If you give it a closer look, there are three small LED every single LEDs, which is green, red and blue. That's why you can get color as you wish. There is a 4 input pin on all RGB LEDs. This RGB LED is common anode LED strip. So black is common positive and other those are for green, red and blue color. Let's see how the color is mixed. 0 to 50 Hz PWM signal needed for every color pin. The color you want it's depending on PWM signal. They are usually controlled by microcontroller. But I don't want to use any microcontroller here. It is very important to learn analog in the first step of electronics. Is it possible to make by only 55 IC? Let's find out how to make it possible. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. Only $2 for 10 PCBs. Add a nice quality and fast delivery. Upload your garbage on GLC PCB to make your project more professional. The analog OA 555 IC can produce 0 to 50 Hz signal. For which I need 555 IC, 100 nanofarad capacitor, 1K resistor and two 4007 diode and 110K preset. I mounted all component on the breadboard like as my diagram, insert 5 bolt in it and I rotate the streamer slowly and you can see the LED is increasing slowly and also decreasing in same way. I will use 3 IC for 3 color. <laughs> I know it is crazy. In analog process you cannot mix RBG color without using this method. So I took a breadboard as per my requirement and also placed all this record component that's you had already seen my previous diagram. So my mixture analog brain is almost ready. When my work completed, then I interface a problem. Each and every LED can take load 20 mA. So here are 150 LED. They can take 3000 mA of load. Here triple 5 IC can produce 200 mA maximum. So we need to increase volt and current for this LED strip. For this purpose, I will use here ULM 2003 Power Up Driver IC. This IC has 7 input and 7 output. If you don't want to use this IC, then you can use here only 3 transistor for 3 color. I had completed my all solder in 2 hours. After complete, it looks pretty nice. I plugged LED wire and also power wire in the circuit board. And you can see the LED is controlling as my wish. I am set this LED in my living room and I enjoy this LED shine. And now it looks very nice to see it. I hope guys you will like this video. This video is very useful. So you can share this video with your friends. If you like this video then hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated.